it's so welcome back to my channel today let's dive into 10 ways you can monetize your youtube videos if you're new to this channel make sure you slap that like button and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any more wealth chat videos so let's walk into it step by step there are ways that you can still generate income from your channel even if you have a small following First of all, if you have an online store or a business offline, you can still use your videos as a way to promote your business to a niche audience. I've seen it done by many YouTubers on the platform. For example, when Patricia Bright started out, she had a hair company. There's people with like electronic shops who talk about computer repairs on their videos. You know, you can really start anywhere. You could sell presets, downloadable products, anything really, anything that can be purchased online or it could be a service offline that your viewers could visit if you have a really local following. Once you reach the 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours minimum requirement, you'll be able to benefit from AdSense. AdSense is basically when advertisers play adverts in the middle of your videos. You can normally choose how many adverts you place in your videos. Usually people might put one at the beginning, middle and end. And the longer your video is, there's more opportunity to place more ads in the video. Which is why so many YouTubers are uploading longer format videos in order to make more money from AdSense. <laughs> But you have to be aware that the niche you choose on YouTube will affect the CPM and the amount of pay you receive per 1000 views. For example, if you're a tech YouTube channel or a YouTube channel that talks about real estate, your CPM could be maybe 10 to $20 per 1000 views. But if you're a gamer, your CPM or cost per 1000 views might only be $3. It really fluctuates. So there's people in the gaming niche who might have millions of followers and millions of views who might be making the same amount of money as somebody who say somebody in the finance niche who only has maybe 200,000 views. They're going to have a higher rate of pay for those 200,000 views because you know it's going to be maybe $20 per a thousand. So I would really consider the niche that you choose on YouTube, especially if it's something that you want to turn into a side hustle or even into a full-time job. Advertisers in niches like healthcare, insurance, real estate, tech, all of those advertisers tend to actually pay more for their ads compared to say a fashion brand advertising on YouTube. So, you know, it really depends on the type of adverts that play on your channel. So if you're a finance channel with an older audience, maybe it's an audience that typically earns a higher salary, they're going to pay much more money to reach those type of consumers compared to somebody who has a very young target demographic on their YouTube channel. You know, if you're 17, you're gonna have less money to spend on higher priced goods compared to somebody who is into real estate, is older, maybe in their 40s or late 30s, who can afford to buy high ticket items. So again, it's something that you should consider before making your channel and you should decide on the type of content you want to create if it's something you want to generate income from to make it sustainable. Once you reach a substantial amount of subscribers and views on your videos, you might want to consider sponsorship deals. Sponsorship deals are basically when you collaborate with brands who might want to use your video to promote a specific service or product to your target viewers. So depending on your niche, you would normally collaborate with brands that are relevant, that align with your viewers. You might want to promote products that you've used yourself previously, because you don't want to just promote like any old thing to your viewers. You want it to be good quality items or items or businesses that you believe in. So if you want to learn more about how to find sponsorship deals, how influencers make money through sponsorships, click the link above my head. It's a really good way to earn additional income as a YouTuber on this platform. If you're considering brand deals, there's certain things that you want to send off to them to make yourself come across more professional and to negotiate higher rates of pay. It might be things like a media kit or your rates or analytics showing your engagement and your statistics for each post that you make. There's many agencies which match you with brands like Famebit, which is now known as YouTube Brand Connect, 
or Upfluencer. There's so many out there which connect you with brands which align with your personal brand that you might want to work with. Sponsorship deals can pay anything from $500 per post all the way up until $10,000 per post. It really depends on your engagement and the size of your following, but there's a lot of money to be made there. The next way you can monetize your YouTube videos is through using affiliate links. You can choose to promote specific products in the description of your videos by placing a link to the product. And if one of your viewers clicks on your link and purchases the product, you can make a commission or a fraction of the sale price. So again, it's a really good way to make extra money on YouTube, especially if you have a lot of viewers or a lot of traffic. It's something I've also seen people who have 24 hour YouTube radio station channels do. So for example, there's a YouTube channel called Chilled Cow and they play chilled R&B and hip hop music 24 hours a day, but they've included a link to a product in their description. And if you click the link, you can see that thousands and thousands of people have clicked on the product. So even if 1% of those people made a sale, that's a huge amount of money and it's very passive. So that's a really good way to monetize your videos, whether you're running a 24 hour radio station, YouTube channel, or if you're just posting videos each week and you want to promote it to your viewers. And again, the niche you choose also might have an impact on the type of products and the size of commissions you can make from each product sale. So again, you might want to choose an industry where the products you promote typically are more expensive so you can actually make more money per sale. Another good way to monetize your YouTube videos is by promoting online courses. So whatever niche you're in, you might create a course to add value to your viewers, to help them succeed in something or to help them make more money. Uh, and that's a really good way to make money passively. All you need to do is create the course one time on a platform like Teachable, Kajabi, or maybe even Udemy or Skillshare and funnel the traffic or promote the course on your YouTube channel in order to make sales. There's so many examples of this. Graham Stephen has his real estate investing course and YouTube Academy course. Meet Kevin has his literally everything course. So, you know, the possibilities are endless on this platform. Over the last three years, podcasting on YouTube has become a massive trend and it's an amazing way to monetize one piece of content twice. Wow! So for example, if you have a long form video or a really long interview or some kind of tutorial that is very audio based, you can actually put that same piece of content on Spotify or on other podcasting platforms. Again, there's so many examples of this. Uh, Bart and Geo from JK News have their Bearcast platform, which is also a podcast on Spotify, Apple Music and other platforms. Patricia Bright launched her Court of Guard podcast, which is also a video on YouTube. So, you know, each time she uploads each week, she's also uploading the same content to other platforms too. It's such a good way to monetize your videos twice. And you can also have sponsorship deals on both platforms. I'm sure over the last few years you've heard many old YouTubers on this platform talk about changes in their revenues and monetization on their videos. After the adpocalypse, a lot of people actually lost a lot of revenue on their videos and started to get paid less. So as a result, companies like Library have emerged to pay and monetize videos much sooner for content creators. Library is a decentralized content sharing platform which is based on the blockchain. So you can monetize your videos almost straight away, especially if you have over 1000 subscribers and the 4000 watch hours. You can make money simply as a consumer of videos and as a creator of videos. So every time you watch a video or you upload a video, share a video, invite somebody to use the platform, you'll get paid from that and they pay you in the form of a cryptocurrency called LBC. LBC is library's form of cryptocurrency and two of those are worth seven cents. So if you're somebody who watches a lot of YouTube videos, you can watch the same videos on library and make money from it. 
You can sync your YouTube channel with Library, so every time you upload a video to YouTube, it automatically gets placed on watch the same content on Library because you can actually receive money from it over time and it will build up, especially if you're a big consumer of online videos. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to make another video going into Library and Library monetization in more detail. Another way you can make money on YouTube is through the live chat or live streaming feature. In a live chat, people can donate money to you while you're talking to them or while your video is playing. And again, if you're somebody with a 24 hour YouTube radio station or a 24 hour live stream on YouTube, people can donate even if you're literally not in the video. I've seen people who stream their kittens or their pets 24 hours a day on a live stream and people just donate money. It could be at 2 a.m. in a night and someone in Australia is watching your kitten and is donating money in the live chat and your live stream, even if you're not physically in the video. So it really depends on your niche, but it's a really good way to generate income as well if you have a really strong fan base. If you're a gamer with over 1,000 subscribers or a regular YouTuber with over 5,000 subscribers, you also have the Join tab, which allows people to subscribe to your channel for exclusive content. And again, if you have a really strong fan base that you really connect with, you might be able to offer specific content that they've told you they want from you to your fans to make more money in that way. Here are some bonus ways you can make extra money on YouTube. If you have a larger channel and you go over 10,000 subscribers, you can actually sell merch through Teespring directly to your viewers. A little banner will appear underneath your video and you can promote t-shirts, mugs, sweatshirts and many other products to them. And you might have like specific phrases or branding that is related to your videos and you might want to create merch that's around that. If you're someone who's really into live streaming, into music, into long form content that you can put on 24 hours a day, it also might be worth looking into creating a 24 hour radio station on your channel. Many YouTubers have built massive businesses on doing this. For example, there's Yellow Bricks, which is a meditation YouTube channel, and they basically stream meditation and spa music 24 hours a day, and they have amassed millions of subscribers by doing this. Chill Cow that I mentioned earlier has also done this really well. And you know, every time people watch your video, you're still getting CPM and AdSense payments. And you can also receive payments through live chat through it as well. So it's a really good way to make passive income if you can give people something they like that can be played all the time. It might be something to help people relax or to help businesses to have background music. It all depends, but it's a really good way to have something playing 24 hours a day that's continuously making money. And again, if you have a specific niche, you can combine this with affiliate links in the description below. Even I saw that um, Yellow Bricks created a meditation app to go with their channel. So the possibilities are endless. It really depends on what you want to do with it. Finally, if you end up being a huge YouTuber, which is like 1% of people on this platform, you might want to create an original series. I've seen people do it all the time. Like PewDiePie had his Scare PewDiePie series. I mean, this is something that is much further along down the road, but you just never know. You might receive the opportunity to produce a show with YouTube if your following is big enough in the future. So in this video, we discussed 10 ways you can monetize your YouTube videos in 2021. And I really hope this helps you to start your YouTube channel if it's something that you've been thinking about doing for a while. I will see you guys in the next video. Stay bougie, stay ambitious. Bye.